So the AI hype is certainly reaching its pinnacle today. And I think we will start to see it become a reality next year. I think part of the challenge we saw in 2024 is companies frantically trying to figure out what they're going to do with AI. And I think a lot of things were, were failures, frankly, because they didn't search for a problem and then find how AI can help solve the problem. They just had AI and they ran around looking what to do with it. I think in security, there's ample problems that AI can, can start to impact. But I think the adversaries are going to be the ones who are going to use it the most aggressively. They have problems trying to break certain defenses that AI can help them with. One of them is the human risk factor. How can I trick humans into doing things they shouldn't otherwise do? Others are going to be how can I find exploits by using AI to, to hunt down zero day exploits as opposed to human beings trying to do that. We're going to see a massive advancement and all the basic things adversaries do today, but AI is going to be rocket fuel to that. So we're going to see that come from the adversarial perspective. Perspective. And then on the defensive side, you know, our industry has been using AI for a long time. We're not new to AI. We're probably one of the industries that embraced it most aggressively. But things like Gen AI are going to really pop in, in how security operators and also customers uh, can interface with security, particularly customers who maybe don't have the security expertise. They can use AI to help with that. But we're going to use AI deeply in trying to find attacks that no one else can find, trying to defend against other AI based attacks. So it's really a, a, an arm race, but now it's like a nuclear arms race uh, with with AI and the adversarial side as well as the defensive side. So I, I think 2025, we're going to start to see it really have some big impacts on both sides. So I think the threats in 2025 are going to be very similar to the threats in 2024. And why is that? Because they were effective in 2024. So I don't think hackers are going to be like, hey, it's a new year. Let's just abandon everything that worked and try something new. So we're going to still have ransomware attacks. We're still going to have zero day exploits being exploited. We're going to still see attacks through the supply chain and critical infrastructure. I think we're going to start to see AI have a huge play in that. And so where companies need to focus on their defensive strategies is really make sure you're still doing the fundamental basics. There's still security hygiene problems that we constantly see uh, get, get breached, whether that's the remote desktop port being open, whether that's people not using two-factor authentication, weak encryption, like some very basic security things need to happen. But one of the things that you're going to need to do is have a really strong security operations. If you don't have that capability in-house, you need to engage someone who does because that's the only way you're going to find these advanced attacks. We find dozens and dozens and dozens of attacks every month that no other security product found. That's because we're doing it in a giant security operations center with a security platform that has visibility across your entire ecosystem. Not every company can afford to have that, but every company needs to have that. It's really the only thing that can help protect you against these advanced attacks. We're gonna to start to see even more advanced attacks from the adversaries.